Alzheimer's log. 18,700 feet. Right below Dige Gonchen. Biggest monastery in the entire province. Library jammed with centuries of wisdom. But I need to find the abbot. Kengpo Jigme Lingpa. He's the one who will help me find Frank. Alright, G Star 321 here again, and we are back with more Cursed Mountain on the PC. This is Chapter 6 Obstacles Removed. So let's do it. Can't go back. This is a really nice chapter aesthetically, okay? It looks fucking awesome. Huge monasteries, temples, all that sort of stuff. Oh my shit, just went into fixed mode camera there and fucked up my controls. But uh, you can't really see it at this stage, but when we go up there, there's some really nice views of the monastery. It's good shit. Other than that, it's a fairly quiet chapter. Okay, mainly the ghosts we'll be fighting in this chapter are the aerial ones that fly around, okay? But we have this weapon. I forget what it's called again, let me just check. The lag par, okay, which allows for instant compassion rituals on all ghosts, all enemies. So they'll pose no trouble, okay? The only trouble is just actually doing this and and making sure it actually hits them, okay? Because they are going to be flying around a lot. Very fucking annoying to target them when they are doing that. Note here. A heartfelt plea. The people of Cherku village ask the abbot of the Daige Gonchen Monastery for help. Shit. Your Holiness, our situation is desperate. Since the darkness came, people go missing every day. We can't go up to the fields to do our work. We can't go down to Lando to trade our goods. Thanks to Jomo Menmo, most of us are still alive. Even the ghosts seem to fear her, but she is weakening day by day, and now the ghosts appear right in the middle of our village. Please help, please protect the faithful of Cherku. Okay, I think there's going to be a ghost fight now. From memory, maybe, maybe not. What am I doing? I can't even go up there. A lot of doors in this area, but can't actually go in any of them, okay? Oh yeah, here we go. So, compassion ritual straight away. Fuck him off. Blindfold ghosts. Extremely annoying due to their fast walk towards you. But he's done. Oh, fucking hell, controls. Christ. <laughs> Shit. My only gripe with this game, the controls which... When, like I've said, you know, in previous chapters, whenever it goes into one of these fixed state camera modes, fucks up your controls, it inverts it, and then when you go back to this, to normal, it's just fucked. Okay. Nothing in there. Oh, a couple of ghosts there. We don't have to fight them. They'll just hover away somewhere. A bronze bowl filled with dried flowers. Something big must have hit that bowl to cause damage like that. Fucking rats everywhere running around. Shit. Oh, here we go. This is an awesome... Look at that. I don't know. That's fucking cool. Jesus Christ. I think I've got a shitload of, um... Yeah, 40 incense sticks, so... It's no big deal, anyway. Oh, yeah. So they're wearing those freaky masks and shit now, some of the ghosts. Pretty cool. No different to regular flying. Aerial ghosts are all the same. Occasional charge attack, occasional projectile attack, just a uh, just different looks. I think there's a health shrine over there. Yeah, I'm not going to use that because every enemy 
every ghost in this chapter. I'm just going to be killing with compassion ritual anyway, so I should be getting a bit of health. Now I'm going as mental as the rest of them. I could swear I had a vision of Bennett. If the bald chap turns out to be Kenpo, then I'll really be freaked out. Okay, we can't go in there. The main gate to the Daige Gonchen Monastery. Impressive, but shut. Protective Buddha. So this is where we need to go, past this Buddha here. Obviously we can't. Okay, this Buddha's blocking the way. So just go back. Okay, run down. We'll have a fight with a couple of flying ghosts. Yep. I think it's three. Three or four. So there we go. Straight into Compassion Ritual. No fucking around. Those are okay, those ones are a little bit stronger with the freaky masks on. They took uh, two. Oh shit, there's the boss. Big ass one. me. Oh shit, there's another ghost. You fuck. I'm just going to take note of my health and see how much I get back from each compassion ritual. Okay, so I got nothing back from that. Let's see what happens when I do to this guy. The boss one. Nothing. Hmm, interesting. It's a little bit concerning. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't get any health back at all from that. I'm going to hold off healing for now because I don't believe there is any taxing ghost fights coming up. But we can go over here now that Buddha's fallen down, which has uh, opened the way for us. Just go back here first, there's a couple of vases and shit, which will break. I always like going over here, because, I mean, there's nothing here, but, I don't know, just the view, like, it's fucking massive, this monastery. Just in the middle of nowhere on some fucking mountain in Tibet, it's crazy. Ah oh, shit, fixed camera. Looks like the workers fled in panic, leaving their tools behind. Rat as well. Okay. Monastery reconstruction. A mason writes about the repair work being done on the Daigay Gonchen Monastery. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. As soon as you grab that book, there's going to be a blindfold ghost there. Just be prepared for that. Okay, let's have a read of that. The work was going well until a strange darkness suddenly swept over the valley. It came from Chomolonzo. Someone must have disturbed the goddess. Since then we have purified the walls and all our materials, but didn't help. Strange accidents happened. People vanished. Workers started to run away, horrified by the things they saw. The abbot tried to maintain calm, but the fear was too much for them. Now I'm the only one left. Not sure who's the only one left, maybe it's the uh, monk that we're looking for Kenpo Jingmei Lingpa whatever his name is incense stick there, we can't go in that door so we'll backtrack here now I don't believe there is one of those Jomo Menmo Buddha statues on this chapter if there is I haven't found it Okay. I will probably miss a few. I never end up getting all of them. Although I have been going pretty good so far. I mean, if I go into uh, JMO Prophecies, I've got five, all in order as well. 
So six, seven, eight, nine, three more. There may just not be one in this chapter, I don't know. Oh shit. Fucking ghost. What the hell? I can't see anything. What the fuck? Get out of there. Alright, now let me just have a look at my health as I'm doing this. I want to see if compassion rituals do anything. Okay, I didn't I didn't notice any difference there. It's fucking weird, what's going on? I wonder if it's this the lag par, the weapon that's causing it. Maybe maybe just using it allows you to kill ghosts instantly, but you don't get the benefit of the actual compassion ritual like you do with the other weapons, I'm not sure. I might give it a test. I'll just equip another weapon for now. Is this the fast one? Yeah, I'll just use this one. Damage a ghost when I come up to it and see what happens. Looks like the workers fled in panic, da da da. Maybe this whole idea is just impossible. Frank is dead, and I should leave it at that. Turn around and go home. Go home, we've come so fucking far already. Not turning back now. Yeah, so I really hope it's just a matter of the weapon that's uh, not causing me to gain the health benefit of compassion rituals because, I mean, if I'm not getting health from them when I'm doing it, it's just, it's fucked. I'm gonna have to start using health shrines frequently. And on later chapters, not so much this one, but the following ones. I will be taking a fair bit of damage from ghosts because there's just a lot of them that you have to fight at the same time. They're a little more aggressive as well. So um, I'm just sort of glad that I stocked up on all those incense sticks. The game is quite vague on things like that, you know. There's quite a, there's been quite a few things that the game's been vague about, you know. Just Just this one, for example, you know where I'm not actually gaining health benefit from uh, cap compassion rituals that stupid statue of Ekajati or whatever that red statue where the game didn't tell us what it does and I had to just through trial and error figure it out on myself you know finally realized that it just increases your weapon damage by a bit for a small amount of time whatever it's just the way okay here we go so oh shit very very fast Alright, compassion ritual. Let's see if we get any health benefit. If I don't, I'm switching straight out to the lag par. It's just pointless using this. Oh, okay. Shit, alright. Okay, well, that <laughs> there you go. That's, that's what's done it, okay? Using the lag par, basically, you can pull a ghost towards you and go into compassion ritual straight away and kill it but you don't gain health benefit when using it. Fair enough, I, I guess, because you're killing ghosts pretty much in one hit. But uh, using this weapon and this one, the Katrika, okay, you should be able to still get um, health benefit. There you go, we just figured it out. All right, this is fucked. This is... Oh, I'm just going to do it here because... Okay, now while I've made that look easy, it's fucking shit to do, okay, control-wise. Basically, you have to get to the beam, press press space, um, don't move though, make sure you can move the mouse left and right, that'll position him, you know, straight, and then hold forward to walk. If you hold forward and walk, and while you're walking, moving left and right on the mouse, try and balance him, 98% of the time you're gonna fucking fall down, okay? It's just a fucking mess. The controls for balancing on the beams like that. Pretty much just practice, okay? First few times I actually fell down there and died. Fucking annoying, but... Whatever. Yes, crazy ass jumps he's doing here. Shit. This is crazy. He's probably dead already. Another I can balance that shit. So here you can move left and right, okay? Left, his head's going left, right, his head's going right. You just want to make it straight, 
like that and then hold forward to walk okay you should be right while I'm walking I'm not moving I'm not a uh, moving my mouse left or right okay there's no need to do that if you find that you're becoming off balance while you're walking forward let go of the mouse let go of the the walk forward button okay and reposition yourself again okay I'm gonna heal here because there's um ghost fight coming up and there's flying ghosts so I'm gonna switch to the lag par kill them straight away and as we figured out gain no benefit health benefit from the compassion ritual which sucks but is fair I guess another day de deity this one in a ritual stance a celestial bodhisattva whom monks imitate during certain ritual dances Fucking hell, that's freaky. God. Wrathful deity whose head is commonly used as a mask in some tantric rituals. Unhappy monks. Diary note written by Frank. Okay, let's have a look at Frank's diary. The monks are uneasy, I can tell. They don't like westerners climbing their precious mountain. I can tell by the way they look at me. Well, to hell with them. They don't own the bloody rock. Good on you, Frank. You dipshit. Okay, so we're gonna have a ghost fight now. And from what I gather, it's a ghost callo. Okay, as you can see these signs are sort of appearing on these deities there so if I go around and go into third eye I can go ahead and do a ritual on it okay break the seal or whatever do that three times normally with a ghost callo once you've done that you don't need to take care of the ghosts okay that pretty much finishes it finishes the ghosts off okay but here it doesn't seem to work I don't know maybe I'm missing something but I'm just gonna go ahead and Perform the ritual on all three anyway. So as you can see, the ghosts are still there. I mean, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm missing one. I'm not sure, but I'm still taking damage. Okay, which is pretty fucking annoying. So anyway, just take care of the ghosts. Fuck this. Just another vague inconsistency the game fails to describe to you. Shit. Fucking a bit too close for my liking. Okay, I'm gonna switch out to the Keeler. Take care of this ghost by normal method, because I wanna I wanna try and get a bit of health back from this one. Stay still, for fuck's sake. Alright. Shit. Perhaps this isn't wise because I'm taking damage. Oh, okay, there we go. Shit. Fucking hell, this is terrible. I better get some fucking decent health back from this guy. Okay, so that's where we need to go. So, you know, I just used the Keeler there in that last ghost and tried to get a bit of health back. You know, what I reckon is just use the lag path. That way you're probably not even going to get hit at all during the ghost fight. So, you know, that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Just fuck the ghosts off instantly, especially those flying, hovering ones, okay? And you shouldn't be getting hit. Ideally, you might take one hit or two, but... Just then when I was fighting that last ghost with the killer, I took a couple of hits and ended up losing more than I was going to gain anyway, so it's just fucked. Fuck the killer. Hiding beneath stairs, a young monk cows in fear. Okay. The chanting halls are deserted, the prayers have faded, life seems 
gone from the monastery. Where is everyone? The terrible curse did not stop outside our holy walls. It came inside and drowned all our laughter and happiness. Now I'm hiding beneath the stairs, praying that the shadows don't find me. I constantly repeat the protective mantras, hoping the llamas find me before the ghosts do. Cannot stand this much longer. Okay, yeah. Well, he probably got killed under there. Who cares? Incense. Something's watching me. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Slight hit, hit detection. Ah, uh, oh shit. Ghost. Fast one. I uh, probably would have been wise to take care of that one with the killer, but by the time I switched out to it and went to actually hit him, he probably would have swiped me. So it would have negated the effect of actually gaining health from the compassion ritual on him anyway. Lag path. That's it. This is the only weapon I'm using from now on. The other weapons do not exist. Oh great, another fucking beam balance. Okay, let's get your head straight. There we go. Holding up to walk. Not moving the mouse at all. Should should be sweet like that. Okay, that's how you get across those beams. Natural instinct, you know, will tell you to move left and right on the mouse while you're walking. To balance yourself like with most games, but this one that just fucks it up, okay, so don't don't move the mouse while you're walking forward on the beams. Um, oh yeah, okay. Monks never wanted Frank up there. And now I'm trying to follow. What if I can't trust them? Okay. So over there, there is one of those... Buddha statues or whatever they are, not the Jomo Menmo ones, these ones drop the red, the little red Buddha statues, the Wrath of Ekajadi. Okay. And using the lag par weapon, I'm not really sure what benefit. Okay, we all know that those little red Buddha statues increases your damage with your weapon for a temporary period of time, but with the lag par, I'm killing ghosts in one hit anyway. So I'm not really sure what benefit it, it is when using the lag par, okay? Probably nothing. Once again, another uh, another vague inconsistency the game doesn't tell you about. Anyway. Chomalonzo has changed. A monk writes that Bennett, Bennett has angered the gods. Okay. The mountain, the sacred one, great Chomalonzo, is acting strange. She has always been so kind, so protective of the valley and our monastery. But since this Bennett arrived, she has changed. He pollutes her with young men who care only for worldly glory, regardless of what is forbidden. He has tampered with sacred rituals that should be reserved for the initiated. Now pain and darkness descend from her brow. Now it is wise to fear the goddess. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, Wrath of Ekajadi. ghost. Now I'm just going to show you guys something. Look at this, okay. If you don't hold hold the mouse button, okay. I just held it then, but um, if you just press it, you'll actually just hit the ghost like that. Okay, you can do this for like 14 years straight. This ghost will not die by doing this, okay. Um, the only sort of benefit I can see from doing this is if you just want to get a bit of distance from the ghost, okay, Stag stun it, stagger it, whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and kill him now. Just wanted to show you that you can't actually kill the ghost by, uh, you know, trying to hit it with the projectile attack of the lag par. There it is, the little red Buddha statue, Wrath of Ekajadi. Blah, 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 yep, and who knows, yeah. Not sure if the uh, game developers 
hid all these little things out on purpose, you know, like not telling us that that thing does extra damage and when using the leg par you don't gain health benefits when performing compassion ritual, blah blah blah. I don't know if they left left these details out from you on purpose so that you could figure it out on your own or something and I, I don't know, I just wish they... I mean it's fine when you bring up the Wrath of Ekajati bullshit and it starts saying yeah 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 the Wrath of Ekajati um, blah 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 brings religious enjoyment whatever that's fine but I don't know like at the bottom in brackets maybe just say temporary increases your damage that would have been you know I would have been happy with that but you know it's not to be who cares we figured it out anyway just through playing it's been too long Frank can't possibly be alive what the hell am I doing the hell am I doing? Not sure. Alright, so this is pretty much the end of the chapter. There'll be a ghost fight here now. Flying ghosts. And there's a health shrine pretty much near me as well. So after this, I'll probably just use one and heal. Oh shit. Shit. They're fucking everywhere. There we go. Looked like there was three of them. Could be another one, I'm not sure. Okay, he's taken care of. Shit. Leg par doesn't seem to work when you get too close. Oh, there's the boss one. Kill him. Yeah, you know, if you're pretty much right in front of the ghost when you um, try and, you know, drag it towards you to do the compassion ritual, won't work. Okay, you've got to have a little bit of distance between you and the ghost. So here I should be okay. That was a bit close there. Not too close. Okay, is that it? Yep. Okay, all these doors around here, can't open them, okay? They don't do shit, so don't even bother with them. Here we've got a note, let's have a look. Kenpo Jingmei Lingpa's trance, an elder rites of the abbot's search for the answers. Okay, almost got all the Lando Chronicle journals here as well. Abbot Kenpo Jingmei Lingpa has sunk into deep meditation. I bring him butter tea and rice, but at the end of the day it remains untouched. He is a very holy man and a great tolku. The daily rituals and chants in the hall have ceased. Nobody dares to interrupt him. I think he tries to find a way to rescue the valley and stop the people's suffering. He is the wisest of us all. If he finds no answer, then surely there is no answer to be found. Okay, so everyone's trusting this... Uh Jingpei Lingma, or Lingpei, whatever the fuck his name is, this monk that we're looking for. He's got all the answers. Can't third eye that. Protective Buddha supposed to keep evil spirits out of the chanting hall. Okay, let's go in here and meet. You certainly got that prophecy wrong, did you? Hmm? I've got a climber dead on the mountain and no treasure to show for it. The Terma has not left the mountain, so it is not for us to say yet whether the prophecy is true. As for treasure, the value of the Terma lies only in the wisdom it reveals. Bollocks, you old fraud! We both know the possessor of the Terma will become immortal. You can sit there on your ass and chant if you want. I'm going to retrieve the Terma myself. I know you're out there, Simmons. You want to fight ghosts while your brother freezes? Fine. But I'm going back to base camp while there's still time. Paul might rescue Frank, even if you won't. Okay, let's go in there and meet Master... Fuck, I keep forgetting his name because it's so long. I recognize you. The vision. That's impossible. <laughs> Perhaps you are recalling a photograph of me that you saw when you met Todpa. Maybe. You were wise to avoid Bennett. 
You are not yet ready to ascend the Sacred One. People keep saying that. Sit with me. Meditate. I will teach you to enter the Bardo and learn the fate of your brother. Okay, now I'm just gonna, before I sit down next to him and meditate and end the chapter basically, I'm just gonna run around here, just check for shit. Prayer wheels, I wonder if these vents have shaken the faith of those who survived. I don't think there's anything upstairs, but, oh, there might be a couple of vases, let's just go have a quick look. pretty dark in this room. Uh, fucking nothing so far. Let's go over here. Can't really see. It's a bit dark here. Okay. There's nothing here. So, oh shit, look at that fucking statue. Looks awesome. It's got like six arms or some shit. Alright, so let's go and sit down next to Master, Master Jingpei Lingmei fucking Dingmei, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh wait, here we go. Another vase. Any more hidden around? No, nothing. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So this is another one of those bullshit things where you got to spin the mouse around, try and match it, but the difference from the previous one, this one there's a bell and you've got to press space when the bell makes the sound, okay? So I'm going to try and focus here and do it. Fuck! Jesus! There we go. Oh my god. The Bardo is the realm of the afterlife. It is the intermediate stage one passes through between death and rebirth. The first Bardo comes at the moment of death. If one is truly enlightened, one can enter Nirvana at that instant. Most souls pass into the second Bardo, which is divided into two parts and which lasts for two weeks. During the first seven days, the departed soul encounters the peaceful deities. During the second seven days, the soul meets the wrathful deities. Hideous, terrifying demons who torture, howl and scream. The soul who can remain calm and recognize that the wrathful deities are really the peaceful deities in disguise may pass to enlightenment. If the soul enters the third bardo, it encounters the Lord of Death who passes judgment upon it using the mirror of karma. If the soul fails, it is drawn earthwards towards rebirth and yet another cycle in this world of sorrow. Your brother has used the power of the Terma to enter the bardo while still alive. He is wandering in the nether regions, trapped between worlds, powerless to move either forward or backward. It is still possible for him to return to this life, to be reunited with his earthly body. But for him to do so, Eric, you yourself must enter the Bardo, search for your brother, and help him to return. Climber's log. Oh, screw that. I've no idea where I am. Feels deadly though. All dark and cold. Maybe it's the bardo that Kempo talked about. Of 
got to find Frank and get out of here. Quick. All right, so we'll leave it there for now, and I will see you in the next video for this chapter, chapter 7, okay? Thanks, guys.